Hi, you guys. I wanted to go through these um, Fundamentals of Engineering Reference pages with you and point out a, a number of things that I think are useful. This is what I was hoping to do last week. Uh, so I'll just try to do it here. So I think this is the first page that I gave you, and it, it's, it says at the top the field equation. Now, notice this is really nothing more than the Bernoulli equation. And notice that all this equation, like all of the equations in the Fundamentals of Engineering exam, are basically mathematical models for reality. And usually, they're pretty distorted versions of reality. But they, uh, and of course, every model is wrong, but, but some models are useful. So these, this model is often useful for back of the envelope calculations. So notice that it talks about uh, this field equation, or the Bernoulli equation, is looking at basically it's an energy equation, basically conservation of energy applied to one-dimensional flows, and it assumes no frictional losses and no pump or turbine. And what that means, when there's no pump or turbine, it means you're not adding energy to the system. So you have the, the control volume, uh, or the volume that you're analyzing, is the, the volume of fluid, and that fluid is has energy in itself, um, it, and and um, it's ex and that energy is constant. So, okay, I wanted to look at this equation a little bit more closely um, because they're doing something funny, but very useful in this equation. Um, so I think I'd, I told you that. Um, that the Bernoulli equation represented uh, basically a conservation of energy. And um, if we were looking at, at, at conservation of energy, we would, would look at terms like, okay, let's look at the, the uh, energy contained from the pressure, pressure times the volume. This, this is really work. Uh, this energy that's, that's inherent in the fluid because of its pressure, uh, plus 1 half mv squared. This would be its kinetic energy. Uh, plus its um, rho g h, uh, this would be its gravitational potential energy. So in a, in a situation where we were looking at um, conservation of energy, we'd actually use these terms, energy terms. Now what they've done in this equation is they've um, converted all of these terms essentially to uh, a common currency, and the common currency that they're using here is is height, or um, head, in terms, of, you know, it, the mechanical engineers call that head, pressure head. So they've taken all of these terms and they've divided it by, um, uh, whoa, shoot, they've uh, one over rho times gravity, every term here, and converted it into the format that you see here, so that each one of these terms, essentially, each of these terms is um, expressed in in length. So this is this P1 over, uh, P1 over specific weight of the fluid is that the units of this are actually, you can convince yourself of this, are actually length. And this will be, of course, length would be h. Um, and this energy term, this will also be in, in units when you divide it by rho g in units of length. So suddenly what you can now do is you can compare the, the kind of what, what we'll call head or pressure head, uh, effective pressure head, uh, all across these different terms. So you could say, well, this is this term right here, or this term, this first term right here, basically represents some sort of hydrostatic head, and in and it's and it's in terms of um, length. Then you could say this term right here represents some sort of um, dynamic head, or dynamic pressure. Again, in, it's expressed in length. Then this term right here represents some sort of gravitational head or pressure head. So now the mechanical engineers just love this. These are now no longer energy terms. Now you have um, a, a, a head, a pressure head from the hydrostatic pressure. You have a pressure head from the velocity or dynamic um, motion of the fluid. Then you have um, the 
head from the actual uh, gravitational potential energy. And then you can add in frictional losses. So later we're going to add in a, a frictional loss, and then we're going to add in a, some sort of a head that is uh, effectively from, okay, this is frictional losses, this is maybe from, um, uh, uh, what is this, uh, fittings. Oh yeah, so they're when they're doing, you know, plumbing, we're going to add in these other terms. So we're going to say that um, the energy that you start out with, or the 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 effective H effective from uh, from the initial situation before going through all these pipes, it will be equal to this new situation. So these different uh, pressure heads expressed in terms of the, stat the hydrostatic pressure, the, di the dynamic pressure, the gravitational head, and then the um, frictional loss, and then the loss of the fittings. So um, this is just a very convenient way to rewrite the Bernoulli equation so that you're, that you're measuring each of the, um, each of the con contributing energy terms in, in terms of an effective head. I don't know if this makes sense.